13.4 is on the Wilcox and Rank Sum Test for two independent samples. The overall idea of the Wilcox and Rank Sum Test is that if two samples are drawn from identical populations and the individual values are all ranked as one, combina a one combined collection of values, then the high and low ranks should fall evenly between the two samples. If the low ranks are found predominantly in one sample and the high ranks are found predominantly in the other sample, we have an indication that the two populations have different medians. The Wilcox and Rank Sum Test is a nonparametric test that uses ranks of sample data from two independent populations. The null hypothesis is that the two independent samples come from populations with equal medians. The alternative hypothesis, H sub 1, can be any of the following. Two, the two populations have different medians. The first population has a median greater than the median of the second population. The first population has a median less than the median of the second population. And the notation that we're going to use is n sub 1 for the size of sample 1, n sub 2 is the size of sample 2, r sub 1, which will be equal to r, as the sum of ranks for sample 1, r sub 2 is the sum of ranks for sample 2, mu sub r is the mean of the sample r values that is expected when the two populations have equal medians, sigma sub r is the standard deviation of the sample r values that is expected with two populations having equal medians. The requirements of this test is that we have two independent simple random samples. Each of the two samples have more than ten values. If there are ten, if there are ten or fewer, use special tables from the reference books. The test statistic that we have for this particular test. The test statistic that we have for this test is the value of z, which is r minus the mean of r divided by the standard deviation of r, where the mean of r is n sub 1 times n sub 1 plus n sub 2 plus 1 divided by 2. And the standard deviation of r is equal to the square root of n sub 1 times n sub 2 times n sub 1 plus n sub 2 plus 1 divided by 12. And the p-value can be calculated with SAS or by using the z-test statistic in table A2. And the procedure that we can make in order to uh, calculate this is to temporarily combine the two samples into one big sample then replace each sample with its rank. The lowest value gets a rank of 1 and so on. If the values are tied, assign to them the mean of the ranks involved in the tie. Then find the sum of the ranks for either of the two samples. Calculate the value of the z-test statistic where either sample can be used as sample 1. If both samples are greater than 10, then the sampling distribution of R is approximately normal with a mean mu sub the mean mu sub r and standard deviation sigma sub r. So an example of this is this table down here, which uh, lists pulse rates of samples of males and females from data set one body data. Use a 5% level of significance to test the claim that the males and females have the same median pulse rate. And the data for this had to be coded as such like this with the males and females specified out slightly different than this table. But I would put that into SAS in here. And the program we're going to use for it is, let me make this a bit bigger. Okay. Proc n par one way. Data is equal to underscore temp one period, underscore, zero, one, underscore, body, underscore, data, Wilcoxon, since we're doing the Wilcoxon test, class is gender, and then var is the pulse. And then we would run this. Doing so, 
gives us this particular information here to the right. So first things first, we have two independent samples. Two independent samples. The sample sizes are both uh, greater than 10, with 12 and 11. So because of that, it's going to be approximately normal. The um, null hypothesis for this, the null hypothesis is that the median pulse rate of males is equal to the median pulse rate of females. And the alternative is that the median pulse rate of males is different from the median pulse rate of females. So median pulse rate of males is not equal to the median pulse rate of females. Now when we look inside of SAS over here for us to obtain our values for this, we see that we obtain a we obtain the Z score and that was not the right one I clicked on it was supposed to be this one. Yeah okay. This is this proc n par one way data is equal to work dot body o one. Excuse me for these pulse rates. Wilcoxon crosses gender various pulse and then we want to run that. This gives us this with a test statistic of Z of one point two one point two four. And we have the probability of this being 0 0.2166. Now, of course, this has a pretty large p-value. So because of this, we're going to reject the null hypothesis. So we're going to write this out as... And actually, let me type that so it's a bit nicer. This is going to be at the 5% level of significance. We do not have sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the median that the um, let me actually ask that the males and females have the same median pulse rate based on this data that we looked at. Now example number two, this one uses the same thing but with the data set one body data data set with a 5% level of significance to test the claim that males and females have the same median pulse rate. That was the program that I showed before. I have the um, body set data set one way here. And the code that we're going to use for that is proc n par one way data is equal to underscore temp one period underscore zero one underscore body underscore data Wilcoxon class gender veil pulse and then one. Doing so will give us this particular output. But before checking the output we know that this is a simple random, simple random and independent sample. So simple random and independent. The alternative, the um, sorry, not alternative yet. The second 
requirement that we have for this is that each sample size is at least five. And we know this particular data set has way more than five for each gender if you looked inside this data set. So I don't think that would be too much of a problem for that. Ah, uh, the uh, no hypothesis for this would be that the populations, the population of smokers the um, excuse me, the no hypothesis for this would be that the two medians are equal the median for the males is equal to the median of the females the alternative is that they're not equal let's look at the last test but when we do this now we obtain a z-score of 3.22 And the p-value that we get is 0 0.0013. And because of this, we can now reject the null hypothesis because that's less than 5%. So to write this out, at the 5% level of significance, we have sufficient evidence to support to support the claim that the males and females have different median pulse rates. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.